We're here at the International Energy Forum headquarters, and joining me now is Joe McMonagall. He's from Hedgeye. Joe, it's been a great few days here, a very busy few days. Talk to me about the importance of the dialogue here, and indeed, I guess, the broadening of the dialogue and how it's changed over the years. Well, the uh, the big highlight of this three days is the, the symposium on the energy outlooks, and uh, I, I like to call it the battle of the energy outlooks because you have IEA and OPEC, and, and some years EIA uh, comes, although this year they, they didn't know, though DOE was represented here, and they present their outlooks, and we try to examine the similarities, but also the differences and the assumptions that are taken into account, and um, just thinking about it spurs questions about policies and uh, uh, different actions that governments can take. And so uh, it's kind of an exchange of uh, analysis and also best practices and also actions that need to be taken by uh, governments uh, going forward to address a lot of the issues in terms of both energy and environmental sustainability. So um, that was really important. And then, of course, you had the EU IEF Day. This is a, an initiative Dr. Soon started that is a tremendous uh, addition to the IEF calendar. And uh, uh, of course, the EU is very focused on uh, the Green New Deal and addressing climate. And it's an important uh, uh, new initiative for the IEF and one that I hope uh, you know will be continuing into the future. And then today, of course, we had the CAPSARC uh, Arena uh, renewable energy. So now Dr. Soon has, uh, you know, IEF uh, involved in uh, the renewable energy debate. Uh, so um, I think that's, you know, one of the best things that has, has happened uh, under Dr. Soon's leadership is we've really expanded the scope now uh, to include renewables and really looking at climate and, of course, looking at, you know, how do we keep bringing energy security to people and market transparency and, and at the same time continue on this energy transition. And also when we look back, I mean, this is an organization that's been in place 20 years now, and it really has evolved over the years and probably escalated in the last few years too, in terms of, um, I guess, who's at the table and the diversity of the players and the speakers. Um, it's not just about the producer and consumer anymore. You're really engaging all of the stakeholders. How important has that been? Well, tremendously important because you're broadening it outside of just governments. I mean, if you just have the governments, you're just talking to yourself, basically. So, I mean, that's important for the governments to talk amongst themselves and share ideas. But it's really important to bring industry in and NGOs and other stakeholders because everyone needs to be talking to each other on an issue as so as so complex and challenging as energy is and and the environmental issues you really need to have a very comprehensive uh, discussion and dialogue and and that's a role that the IEF uh, has to play and will continue to play that in the future now of course the energy minister here in Saudi Arabia as well his highness taking a very active role very much he was involved I think in the early days looking at the foundation of this organization as well. And I believe he, he's very determined to make sure that this is probably a more relevant organization going forward and a stronger one. He's putting his entire, I think, personal support as well as the ministry behind it, which is great. Yeah, yeah I mean, he's uh, essentially one of the founders, if not the founder of the, of the IEF and really worked hard to get it off the ground 20 years ago. And of course, it's, it's really just been in existence for 10 years. My uh, first interaction with the IEF was in uh, 2003. I, one of my first trips to uh, Saudi Arabia when I was working at the Department of Energy was to come here and announce U.S. Uh, financial support for the IEF along with the Energy Secretary at the time and actually worked closely with a, a friend of ours, Bob McNally, who was working in the White House for President Bush at the time. And so uh, that was my first interaction with the IEF and uh, now coming full circle here and, uh, you know, soon to be uh, taking over as Secretary General in, in August.